Hello, today is November 25th, 2019, and welcome to HTV News. I'm Leela Castro. And I'm Vivian Garcia, and here's what's going on at HHS. Hobart, Hobart High School will be offering free I-STEP tutoring beginning this week. Students should sign up in the Media Center. Math I-STEP tutoring is on every Tuesday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. English I-STEP tutoring is on every Thursday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. as well. This is different from our Monday and Wednesday tutoring as it focuses specifically on I-STEP skills. Please note that we do not have bus transportation for I-STEP tutoring. I-STEP tutoring will run on the schedule through November 26th. Key club members applying to the state convention must have their applications and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, November 22nd. If you are planning to attend after school tutoring this afternoon and you require bus transportation, you must sign up in the media center before 1 p.m. today. You must have a, a signed permission slip on file. Writers Club will meet tomorrow after school until 3.30 in the media center. French Club members wanting to spend the evening in Chicago need to pick up permission slips and get them turned in as soon as possible. Key Club will begin the annual mitten tree and toy drive next Wednesday. Please put all items by the tree outside of the media center beginning next Wednesday, November 27th. The Student Credit Union wants you to enter the drawing for a Kindle 8 with a qualifying deposit. This promotion runs through December. The winner will be announced before winter break. It only takes $1 to open up a new savings account. If you are a sophomore or a junior and are interested in exploring classes at the Porter County Career Center, please attend the PCC Preview Day on December 3rd. Sign-up sheets and permission slips are available in the guidance office. Permission slips are due by November 26th. Now over to Jonathan and Cameron for our sports updates. Congrats to our October Breaky Athletes of the Month, Grace Nessich for girls soccer, Hannah Mathis for volleyball, G.J. Lipke for football, and Troy Brown for soccer. soccer. Way to go, Brickies! On Friday night, the Brickies traveled to Kendallville to face the undefeated East Noble Knights for the IHSAA Class 4A Northern Semi-State Crown, with the winner advancing to Indianapolis to play for the state title in Lucas Oil Stadium. Three buses packed with students, along with what seemed like our entire town, made the two-and-a-half-hour trek across the state to support our boys playing in their first semi-state in 23 years. East Noble received the opening kickoff and on their first series, do-it-all quarterback Bailey Parker fumbled and senior Sean Underdahl recovered to give Hobart the ball in night territory. The Knights were able to hold the line and Hobart settled for a 22-yard field goal by senior Matt Hylek was taken early 3-0 lead. After a blocked punt and a two interceptions, it was a 17-0 lead for the Brookies at the half. East Noble came back and tied it up in the third quarter. During the fourth quarter, it was back and forth an edge of your seat finish as East, with the East Noble lead. With only 7.7 7 seconds left in the game, Johnston lofted a long pass intended for Vaude down the right sideline headed for the end zone. A touchdown would have sent the Brickies to the state finals. Anything less meant the season was over. As Void went up for the catch, two East Noble defenders were able to knock the ball away and the pass fell incomplete, sending the Knight fans into hysteria and leaving the Brickies heartbroken. Final score, East Noble 29, Hobart 24. Hobart hasn't seen this pride and excitement for 23 years. Congrats to all the players, coaches, and staff on this amazing season. Back to you, Vivian. Thanks, Jonathan. Seniors, this is what you have been waiting for. We've been creating newsletters that have temporary and part-time jobs for high school students. However, there are many companies in Northwest Indiana that have full-time jobs for students once they graduate high school. We know that planning your future is very important to you, so together with the guidance department, we have composed a list of career-type jobs that we think you might be interested in. Many of them only require a high school diploma and play, pay way over minimum wage. The goal is to bring awareness of the many career opportunities available in our state. An important safety tip, please use the sidewalks on the north side of 10th Street. This means you should safely cross 10th to get to the sidewalk. Community members are concerned and want to keep you safe, as do we. When you must be on the non-sidewalk side of 10th, be sure to use the bike lane and watch for traffic. That's it for this edition of HTV News. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School Radio and TV channel. Remember, only the best for HHS and have a fantastic day, everyone.